Hello everybody, it is Fox River Rail Fan here, and today um, we are going to do a quick tutorial on how to do some reskinning in Trains in New Era. Um, so first things first, you're going to want to find your Trains in New Era icon on your desktop. Mine is right here. You're going to click open on it. You're going to go to manage content, which opens up your content manager. And now, say um, you wanted to reskin a jointed rail Baldwin S12. First things first, you're going to want to find your S12 in here. So you go to installed and then type in S12. And I know because I've done this once or twice before that the S12 is right here. So once you do that, you're going to want to go up here to content and click clone. Once you clone that, you can go to today here, get rid of your search and it will be called new asset and now from there because it's new asset you go here show in explorer it brings you to the asset file on your hard drive and then you go to mesh body and for uh, doing jointed rail stuff you're gonna have to go to this it's called main bump and if we open up that in paint.net paint.net is just what I use this. You open up main bump and paint on that. It looks like this. Now, first things first, with this, you're going to want to open up your layers tab and make a new layer. And you're going, just going to want to color this one black and put the background on top of that so it shows over. And then when you do this, you're also going to want to desaturate this. So you go up to adjustments, hue saturation, and then just bring saturation down, and it makes it gray. And you can merge the layers down too to start beginning your skinning. So next, what you're going to want to do is make another new layer, go to the layer properties, and add it to, and make this layer property the blending mode as multiply or overlay. And these will just basically make your colors darker on the skin. Uh, so let's go for like a red, red here, and just give it some red on here. And as you can see, it makes it darker, but it also doesn't go over the black lines of the original skin file. So let's say you got your skin finished. All right. Um, I'll just go here. I had one finished earlier. We'll take it out of my recycling bin folder. It is right here. So here it is. Already finished. Now, what, what you're going to want to do to save this is go to File, Save As, and then find the uh, location here of your folder. Mine is app data and local NV3 games, Tane, your build number, editing, all that fun stuff. Go back to paint.net, go to where you're saving it, and up here in this bar, copy that. And it'll bring this right into here. And now, an important step in this is you're going to want to change the file from PDN here because it'll be a PDN if you're doing it with the layers, and it will be, and change it to a TGA file. And also, to make it become your main skin, you're gonna, gonna wanna get rid of the bump file part here, and just make it main. And that will overwrite this main file right here. Yes, you wanna replace it. And then when this come up, comes up, when you first do it, it'll be on compress. You do not want it to be on compress, so just so just unclick compress and let it go the full file size. Then hit OK. It will save. And then you're gonna want to go into your folder here, go into the config file, and change the username of this. So ELS2042 because I already made an ELS 204 earlier and this is just for the purpose of this demonstration. So you want to save that. Then you go back to your content manager 
and you're going to want to submit your edits right here submit edits and then when that submits it should um, skin the asset and then a quick and easy way to check that after it submits here in a second I'll show you All right, so it's done now. Is to click Control Shift R. Control Shift R, and this opens up a viewer window where you can see your skin. And because I didn't do any, I didn't touch any of the other folders, files in the um, asset file. It kind of looks like crap because it doesn't have the MU hold, MU stands, radiator fans, anything else painted. But that's basically the premise of what you're going to do to reskin. Um, just let me know if a more in-depth tutorial would be needed. Um, I can do one of those for sure in the future if you would like it. Um, so I hope I help you guys out. Um, this was Fox for Royal Fans. Quick, easy, um, not very thought out tutorial on how to do reskins for trains. Thanks for watching and uh I hope I help I hope I helped you guys out.